do you all see the things that I'm be, that I'm subjected to? Do you really see the things that I'm subjected to on a daily basis? Tell them, hey, LJ. Come back and fight. Hold it by the handle, LJ. You see the things that I'm subjected to on a daily a daily basis? This is pretty easy. This is my wife. This is what I have pledged to be with forever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we about to try something a little bit older, but a little bit new, man. It's the Barbershop Series, man. It's uh, where I get a couple people together, and we talk about sports, man. I mean, I'm thinking I can probably do this once a week, maybe on Thursday or whatever, have some 2K playing in the background. I got no clue, man. But, you know, uh, right here I got the people that will be participating today is going to be Rampage, uh, Juice Man, uh, 316, and myself. So, you know, without further ado, let's just get right into it. <laughs> Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ, coming to you live with another episode. Well, I guess it's the first episode of the Barbershop Season 2. I don't know what the hell we're going to call it, man. It is what it is. But, um, you know, I got, uh, like I said before in the intro, I got Juice Man, and I got uh, I got Rampage in the building, man. So, you know, it, you know we're just going to talk about some sports, man. And uh, really, we're gonna talk about the thing that's 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 on everybody's mind. We got uh, a couple of trades, which is uh, you know the, the three things we're gonna talk about are gonna be the trades that we had yesterday. A couple of them, the only ones that I care about, and, and pretty much anybody cares about, gonna be the Derrick Rose trade. Uh, was it smart? Was it not smart? Uh, the Jeff T trade, because that's my Hawks, which y'all guys probably don't even care about. Exactly. You know, most people not gonna care about, but you know it is what it is. And then uh, we're gonna talk about the draft. And then third, we're going to talk about uh, where we think Kevin Durant may end up. Uh, because a lot of people are saying they're going to make a push for him. And uh, we just want to see. So just starting off the bat, going back yesterday, uh, the New York Knickerbockers and the Fighting Field Jacksons. It seemed like they made out like bandits Fighting yesterday to me. <laughs> exactly, man. It, look, it looks like they made out like bandits yesterday to me. They traded Jose. They turned Jose Calderon and what? Uh, Robin Lopez, Sideshow Bob. They turned yeah, Sasha Bob, Bob, yeah, and um, and, and Rob Grant. and Jose Calderon and uh, Jer and somebody I don't even know, Jaron Grant. I don't, I know, I got no clue who that is. Uh, is he in relation to Horace Grant? That's Horace Grant. Little, uh, yeah. no, 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 that's that's Harvey's that's, son, right? That's Harvey. Yep, that's Harvey's son. All right, so that's Harvey's son. Anyway, man, um, uh, I mean, they turned them into uh, Derrick Rose, and even though it is an aging Derrick Rose with 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 the with the knee injury, I mean. To me, it still feels like the Knicks won, won that uh, won that trade, man. I don't know. Like, I, I don't expect him to be the same guy that he was. I don't expect him to take him to the promised land. I don't expect him to do this. But what you did get is a very serviceable serviceable point guard over what you had, which was, you know, Calderon. And well, I don't even know who's starting it. Who the hell is even starting that point for the Knicks right now? I think it's a revolving door, ain't it? Langston Galloway will start more. I thought they were having lights to come off the bench and playing too, though. But, man, it is what it is, man. But, but we're going to start with you, though, Juice. What do you think about the trade? See, to me, my opinions of the trade, the Knicks did get off like a fat rat. Because you're telling me you turned in. Sean Slay said, Robin Lopez called her on with the D-Rose. And being, like, like D-Rose being from Chicago, Chicago, she got a whole lot more for him. Especially a second round draft pick, you could have got a first round pick for the Knicks. You could have got a pick. He's still for first round talent because you got a seventy five percent healthy Derrick Rose. It's probably a top ten point guard in the league. You could have got a first round draft pick for him. So the Knicks stole. They pulled somebody's ass for him. He pulled something out. Right, That's I agree. Right, right I agree with that too. I'm, I'm like, it doesn't matter how good he. You know, we're not comparing him to his former self. We're just saying where he is now and where he ranks among point guards in the league. If, if he can stay healthy, he is a top 10 point guard in the league. Now, I'm sure we're going to have somebody in the comments going to yeah. name 10 people that they think probably could be better point. But I'm just saying he, he is a 10, top 10 point guard in the league. But what you think about that, Ram? What, what was your thoughts on it? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I say pretty much the same thing. Now, it's not 
it's not Kwame and Gasol levels of robbery, but it is still pretty. You know, <laughs> if I'm looking at the Bulls front office, I'm really questioning the move because I mean, like you said, he's from Chicago. He, I'm pretty sure he loved being there. He ain't have he ain't have any problems with the team. You just got him back to playing multiple games a season. Right. What he played what he played sixty games last season. Right. In which he so, wasn't like, looking like sixty six to be the first, top. I mean, he'd been off the court for for uh, goddamn multiple seasons in a row. What can you what exactly. can you really ask of him? You can't. Well, I mean, That's you can't wrong. ask for him to for him to be the MVP his first year back. So I mean, you got to right. I mean, you got to give him time to get. I mean, get his legs back up on him, get back used to playing because people don't understand how how rigorous it is to play a whole season. How rigorous it is, I should say. Yeah, rigorous it is. It's rough to play an entire NBA season. You're talking about 82 games. Sometimes you got back-to-backs. Sometimes you're playing four games a week. And we have an ACL injury. See, I tore my ACL. I got a zipper to prove it. But uh, I'm just like, yo, when you uh, when you do that, you don't and, – and you and you try to come back. Like, you see somebody, like a lot of people say, well, Russell Westbrook came back in and uh, AD came back and played and, you know, ran damn to 2,000 two yards and they – those people are anomalies. They're not the norm. You you can't like like people love to take the the exception and make it into the rule. But you know it is what it is. But you know we can't spend too much time on this. So we're gonna move on to uh move. I mean I mean like we said I think it's a consensus that we think he's gonna be a very serviceable point guard. I don't know how it's gonna work out with Melo because Melo needs yeah, the ball that. a lot to be effective. Yeah. But you know they'll be serviceable. He'll be a very serviceable point guard and maybe he'll be that other leader. He's not a leader in my eyes. But, you know, it's going to be interesting. So it's not a steal for for New York. Like, they should be, they're going to be title town USA again. But at the same time, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, it's a good trade for them. It's a good trade for New York. New York gets the edge. All right, so next we're talking about the draft, man. Um, I don't even know where we are. We uh, we traded draft, segueing into the draft. We traded draft T uh, for, well, we didn't get George here. He went to the Jazz. Jeff T goes to Indiana. And and so we essentially get the draft pick. Yeah, we got the twelfth draft pick, and so we got the twelfth and the twenty-first draft pick. I, I really don't know what we're gonna do with. It. I don't really know anybody in the draft other than Brandon Ingram and Ben Simmons. So speaking of the, and Thon Maker, so speaking of those guys, you know, uh, Ramp, since you guys have the first draft pick with the Lakers, we got second you, pick, sir. Well, second pick. I'm sorry. Uh, what do you think you guys are gonna end up with? Well, we know you're gonna get Brandon Ingram probably. I mean, most likely, unless they just yeah. choose to go somewhere else. Because Philadelphia has already said they're gonna take Ben Simmons. So how, how do you feel about the Lakers? And what they may, what they may Man. end up with. I mean, Brandon Ingram, watching the highlights and seeing what he did at Duke. I mean, he's gonna be he's gonna be a good player. I don't know if he's gonna be an All Star yet because I don't like his his body type in the NBA. Right. But I but I but I was saying what I was seeing the other day that he said he wanted to put on weight and they said he already he already put on about 15 pounds he wants to add 20 more so they'll put him up to about 225 I believe now right. that might work out better for him than him just trying to stay at the weight he played in college you know? right and that's what I was pretty much saying yesterday when we were talking about it we were like yo he need to put on at least about 30 pounds man he gotta be about you know if he gets up to about 220 225 230 he, he'll be okay I mean he'll be a lot he, he, he needs that weight though I mean, I don't know how much Kevin Durant weighs, but whatever Kevin Durant weighs, you know, if Kevin Durant can play in that 220 to 230 range, he, he should be fine. So, I mean, right. but he, we don't know if he has that skill set, so I don't know. So, Juice, Juice, what, what are you thinking? Who you think Who you think is going to be the better pick? Brandon Ingram? Oh, I didn't ask you, who you think going to be the better pick? Brandon Ingram or or uh, Ben Simmons? Uh, right right now, my father said, right now, Cause like I say, Philly is in shambles, and you got a guy, you got a guy who's six or ten with a handle and looking to facilitate. But like I say, Brandon, uh, even though it's about me ball, but over time, if the left, they're gonna build around Ingram. Ingram got quality. You already got D'Angelo Russell, right? Yeah, Cross the backcourt. And you got right. if Julian Randle can fake. You're not a point guard. Let me get down there, get that Zebo game going. Blow the rim and put in and put uh, your boy at the three. All you need is a nice little decent service center. And it's a miss player that can look nice. But right now, yeah. currently coming, not a goal player. He's not to me. He's not a go save all franchise player. But he's gonna have fit looking in the he have fit looking in the right direction. It's just with first with the front office fuck it up by trading away. Trading Wake because they ain't like the way he was playing for two games. Well, we already know that Philly would do that with no problem. Who you think gonna be better, Ramp? Um, ben Simmons would probably be better 
individually. But like right. you said, he probably won't he probably won't be a winner if he ends up staying with Philly. But yeah. Ingram, if we could turn him into a good team player, he don't get into no trouble. I think he might he might end up playing him. Uh he's played a whole lot of years with us. Right. Barring he don't have any freak accidents like uh like Julius Randle did his first year. Right. And I and I feel like um I feel like uh, who gonna be the better pro? Ben Simmons will probably be though. Be it's probably gonna be kind of like Melo and uh, Melo and and uh, LeBron. You know, Ben Simmons will probably be the better overall player, but mm-hmm. but I think that uh, Brandon Ingram is probably gonna win just because they're gonna do more to to put a team around him. I mean, when you get in that Philadelphia organization, man, it, they, they just don't give me the the the, the impression that they're a team that wants to win. I don't, I don't get yeah. that from them. They just want to sell tickets and make money. Like, they're making money with the franchise. I don't, I don't get the impression that they want to win. I mean, they got Okafor and uh, they got uh, uh, Nerlens Noel. And they've been shopping them all summer. So, who knows, man? It is what it is. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So, you know, I think uh, I think Ben Simmons will probably be the better pro, the more polished product. But uh, I think that uh, I just don't see winner. Like, he don't strike me as a winner, man. He just doesn't. And uh, I'm not saying that Brandon Ingram really does, but I just think that he's going to have more opportunity because he'll have more around him in L.A. eventually. And then finally, we're going to come and we, we, we're winding down with uh, with uh, where we think Kevin Durant going to go. I haven't the faintest idea, so that's my <laughs> answer. I mean, everybody said they're pursuing him. He probably going to end I'm up in Oklahoma. He probably end up in yes, Oklahoma. Yeah, go ahead, Juice. Yeah, he, does, he has invested too many years. He's 27 years old. He don't need to start over. He needs right now. Exactly. All he Oklahoma City need to do is figure out because they have the team. They just got to figure out what keep everybody together, everybody in jail because they have the squad right now that can compete. Right. They just choked away the game because Kevin Harris, and Kevin Grant got to understand he can't play hero ball. He got to trust his teammates in OKC because right now right. OKC looks dangerous. And I think it'll be kind of like uh, maybe like uh, who was that that went went on that tour around the nation. Then Kobe used to get, nah, Kobe ain't never even talked to nobody else. There was somebody that went on a tour around the nation uh, a couple years ago and then went right back to the same team. I can't think of him right off the top of my head, but, you know, he was talking to other people like he was leaving, and uh, you know, he was like, nah, I'm just going to stay at home. I mean, I can't I can't think of who it was a couple years ago, but I think it's probably how it sounded. It sounded like Carmelo. Yeah, it's probably. And it sounded like the Marcus Aldridge, too. Yeah. The first, yeah. He, the first, the first time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But uh, all right, but uh, who? What do you think? What, what you think gonna happen to him? Man? Think he's staying or he gone? I think he's staying. Okay, see, like, like you said, man, he's too old. I think he liked playing with Westbrook too much, even though yeah. that sometimes it do cost him some games. But I mean, to be honest, they he really should have been in the finals this year. But right. Clay Thompson went off, and then nothing you can do about that. So now you can do about that. And I think Westbrook makes the game so easy for him that you know you get you get used to it. You get used to. To who's right there in front of you beside you? And I think he's he just used to Oklahoma, and not not in that actual city. But I, I feel like he's just used to where he's at, his situation, and he can he probably has enough enough pull to just say, look, man, we're gonna have to do a few more things to get this title. I mean, they did do enough, like you said, Clay Thompson just went went stupid. They got Steven Adams, you got Enos Cancer. If they get those guys, guys, if they can retain those guys, and uh, you know, Russell Westbrook at the point. If they could either get, if they can get a, a decent shooting guard, they'll be good. Deion yeah, Wade's coming off the bench, to. they'll be fine. But Robeson just ain't good enough offensively to me to be to be out there like that. But I mean, he's he's definitely defense, so it is what it is. But anyway, that's all we got for y'all today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you would like to be on the show, just holler at me. I think I'm gonna try to do it every Thursday, man. I mean, I just put some gameplay in the background and we just go from there. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed the show and uh, the opinions expressed here. We ain't no professionals and no shit like that, but uh, we just like to talk shit. So if you like to talk shit, holla at your boy, man. But we out of here. Till next time. Piss your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. I need to go to the fucking barbershop, too. Holla. Shut the hell up, Juice. I know you're going to have something to say about my haircut. That was so fucking epic!